Hello everyone, this is Chandrika and I'm sharing my first tutorial video on my YouTube channel Code Her. Click on the bell icon to never miss any notifications. In this video, I'll show you how to run this portfolio website locally and also how to edit and customize it to make it according to your own requirements. Watch this video to the end if you want to have this website as your own. So I'm going to click on the footer link which will direct me to the Brittany Chiang's original repo known as v4. So I'll clone this repo using the command which is here. This is for the GitHub CLI and this is for HTTPS1. So I'll use the HTTPS1 and click on the clipboard icon to copy this command and thereafter open the terminal and clone the repo. So our first step is this. So I'll type in git clone and the command that we copied. So this will clone the repo in a folder named as v4. So while the repo gets cloned, let's have a look at the original website. So I'll go to brittanychiang.com. So as you can see, this is the original website which has the sections for jobs, experiences, the fe featured projects, the contact me section along with the social links. So we can also see in the readme the guidelines of forking this repo. So this is done and now we'll switch to the v4 folder. So this is my version of the portfolio website as you can see. So these are the sections which are not included in the original repo about the he hero text and all that. So we'll go to the uh, github repo where I have uploaded the code of these sections. So we'll proceed with these steps as we have done before of cloning this repo. So here you can see in the content folder, we have contact, hero, about and other stuff. So we'll proceed with the same procedure. And so I have already cloned this repo. So in this folder, some folders are missing. So we'll install the Gatsby CLI first and then the N NPM install. So I'll go to this folder using the change directory command known as cd. So the next step is to install the Gatsby CLI. So the command for this is npm install hyphen g Gatsby CLI. So the next step is to have the npm install to install the missing node modules folder. As you can see in the folder that is no node modules now. So the next step is to have npm start. On doing npm start, we can see the website in localhost 8000. So you can see the site is up at localhost 8000. So when I click this, the website is up in local. So you can see the different sections of the website which I have in your local machine. The last step is for editing. And I'll use VS Code Editor and we'll open the folder. So here you can see different sections which has the corresponding details. So this one is for about and this is the about section. So I want to uh, place a space here. So you can just give a space here in the editor and you can see the corresponding change in the localhost website. 
and also if I want to add a skill such as volunteering so the corresponding change is visible here so in the same way if I want to change something else so this is the pictures and the contact so here is the contact section so if I want to change the get in touch to contact me I can do here and this will be changed similarly for featured projects we have this is the index file which is similar format to that of markdown so I can change here anything and it will show in the local host so if I want to change something in the hero text which corresponds to this section so for example if I want to include that I also make YouTube videos so this change will also be shown so as you can see it is here so these are the different job fields so if I want to include a line in my recent job so I can do in this way so I want to in include working as part of digital delivery scrum team so you can see here this is changed proceeding on we can change the corresponding projects which are listed here so if you want to show some of the projects here and some in the archive list you can do this using the false or true so if I am doing false that project will not show here instead it will show this in the archive list so proceeding on we also have the corresponding JS files for each of the sections and these are for the about and all that and to edit the social links we have this config.js file so here you can make it as your own for the corresponding social links so that's all for this video in next video i'll show you how to deploy and run this site and make the site as your own for free thank you